Uh, a lot of people once upon a time thought the combine was a waste of time in general because hey, it's the underwear Olympics as it's been called. But pardon my French. When a <laughs> runs four to one. <laughs> I mean, God damn four to one. Four to uh, one. I've never I would like I, I want to hear how they, they edit that together. That's a is it that's a like, cat. Bleep, 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 bleep. That's a cat. <laughs> that's a cat Williams 40 time. Cat Williams run four to one. <laughs> four. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Unbelievable. So here's the thing. If you look at the history of some of the burners at the combine. A lot of them. Um, a lot of them don't pan out in the NFL. Like it is a who's who of who like that's that's kind of what right. that list is at this point, right? Um, in terms of some, most of the top times, the Chris Johnson's of the world notwithstanding. Um, yeah. This is nuts. Having said having and said I, that, when you look at this guy, at, but when you look at this guy at Texas, like he was good. He's a good player. This yeah, feels like this good. like he, 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 he's track fast and football fast. Um, so I make I, they, they're talking about seven or eight receivers in the first round. You're an NFL general manager and you've been in draft. Tariq Woolen's good though. Tariq yeah, Tariq Woolen's good. DJ Turner's got a shot. Yep. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's they, got, they got some, you know, they got some Chris Johnson exceptions. Back in the day. Got some hey, exceptions. You remember John Ross, you know, John Ross's claim to fame. Being the he last pick before Patrick Mahomes was drafted. Exactly. For yeah. the, for the <laughs> drafted right, going right that, before going Patrick Mahomes. When Mahomes went 10th, yeah. yeah. Um, no, but I mean, look again, you don't want your claim to fame being fastest 40 time in combine history because like that's not football, right? But I think the thing that Xavier Worthy seems to have going for him is he's a good football player. Not that John Ross wasn't coming out of Washington or any of the other guys weren't when they were in college. It, it's not an automatic. It doesn't automatically translate. Like it's not a, oh, okay, because you can run fast in a straight line, you're gonna make it in the, in the NFL. Uh, how do you value that? Is what I would wonder. If you're an NFL general manager, how do you? Because usually it's like, oh, these are just this is either confirmation of what we already knew from watching the film, or it's you know something for us to go back and research, depending on how a guy you know how how he moves in these agility drills or. The, the testing is not the end all be all, but it matters. When you're talking four two one, that's not you know that, that's not that's not that's not run of the mill, you know that is that is that is that's exceptional, obviously, you know. Like, okay. what, how do you value that if you're a general manager? Know. Okay, you know how you value you're not impressed? it. Impressed? Like, uh, how do you value? It's it's entertaining. It's entertaining. <laughs> it's it's it. It really yeah. is. It's, it's cotton candy. That's that's all it is. It really doesn't mean anything. It's almost like we're the, the mixed sports here. We're talking about the dunk contest. It's just a show that doesn't really mean anything. And sometimes the dunk contest is not even a good show. But okay, you ran a four to forty. I think what this is this is what I'm talking about when we we mentioned revising the combine in the three cone drill in the three cone drill more indicative of what a receiver will do or what a football player will do in the league as opposed to the 40 yard dash. I mean, you're I think talking the guy about you're talking space. about is Keon is Keon Coleman at Florida State out of Florida State because if I'm not mistaken, poor 40 time, but crush the drills. Yeah, crush the I mean, crush the crush everything else. It, like it just it just doesn't happen that often where you're just why, why 40 yards. Why 40 yards? It's just fun. It's not. It's not football. Okay, like, let's line up. Let's line up and race. And the first one to 40 yards, who's the fastest wins? Great. But that doesn't really. That really doesn't determine anything in football. And so that's why right. a lot of these guys miss. Okay. Yeah. What did uh, What did Nakua do uh, in the 40 yard? In the 40 yard dash, he right. did not have a great time and he wound up going what the fifth round was he drafted in the fifth, fifth round. round because his time he was drafted in the so fifth like, round. Yeah, you think about a guy. Well, he was also hurt I a lot at BYU. Six, yeah, 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 but I think he's what six two. He's got good size. It's like six two. Yeah, he's six two. He's yeah. six two, two ten, six, two. Two, two fifteen, something like that. Yeah, what are we thick, talking about? Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so a six two guy 
uh, over 200 player. pounds. He can catch, yeah. but you know, uh, his, his, his 40 time was four, six or four five. I don't care. So I right. don't think it really means anything. It's a great show. I'm glad right. I, I heard one year. Um, that legend is when Dion ran it. Uh, and, and just kept, he just kept Dion going. Ran the 40 <laughs> and then ran out. He just kept going. Of course. Yeah, right? he just kept, just, yeah, just kept just going. Like, yeah, all right. And then Dion right. in the interviews was was entertaining. You know, I mean, I, I this stuff. This is these are good for stories, but if I'm a general I manager, I probably wouldn't. I'd, I'd probably ignore the 40 altogether. I'd ignore it. I don't think it. I don't think it. I don't think it means everything. But when you when you're in this range, I think it means something. It gets your attention. Like if he was a borderline first round prospect, or he was a, a, a fringe for first round prospect. Maybe he was. Maybe he wasn't. Who knows? Like to me, this this definitely like moves him up our board, if you will. Like a look, like a look, like just like one of those. Like wait a minute. Like we see it yeah. on film at Texas. We've seen him be a playmaker at Texas. But now you factor in this kind of speed, I guess like, okay, like this is again, it's exceptional. So generally well, speaking, fast, I would not we put a whole lot in Texas. We knew he was fast, but like when you get when you put a number to it, it's like, well, damn, you know, um, four, two, one. Yeah, I mean, golly, like, I just yeah, but what else we got to get excited about, man? We ain't got no real football. We ain't got for real football going on. So we watching track. Yeah, you know, we're, I'll get excited. <laughs> we're watching I'll track get excited and field. Yeah, I'm excited I, and, about him. I'm and I like some of the, I like some of the interviews too. I do like some of the interviews from uh, the, the players I heard over the weekend. Yeah. Hey, thank you for watching, brother from another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on SiriusXM Channel 85.